Welcome to Roll Call Tips. I'm Frank Ritchie, Battalion Chief in New Haven, Connecticut. There's a lot of talk around the country about building your command officers, but how do we do that? Now, we've seen departments moving to command teams, and we've also seen departments moving to having a chief arrive on scene who doesn't want to take command, declare senior advisor, somebody who could kind of whisper in the ear of the IC and mentor them along. This is a great idea and it's a concept that we're putting into play in New Haven, but I'm gonna caution you. If you're the chief or you're the chief of operations and you're mentoring a battalion chief, you go up to them. If you declare that you are the senior advisor or a member of that command team, that means you can't give commands. As soon as you start giving orders, even if it's a benign little order, you're actually undermining the very thing you're trying to accomplish. You only want to talk to the IC and communicate through the IC. If something needs to be done, whisper in their ear. And if the situation is escalating beyond that IC's control, then take command, don't undermine, and reassign that IC to a division or a sector. Remember, the cemetery is filled with indispensable men and women. It's our job to build the future and train our replacement. So get out there, declare senior advisor, build your personnel, but remember, never undermine them. Never give orders when you're standing next to the incident commander. There can only be one person in charge.